Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. Look, 2020 has proven to be the year of many things, and the same for 2022. But if you're a small business, this could also be the year you switch to a better payroll. Gusto wasn't just built for small businesses, it was built for the people behind them. Their online payroll is easy to use. Gusto can automatically calculate paychecks and file all your payroll taxes, which means you have more time to run your business. Plus, Gusto does way more than payroll. Gusto helps with time tracking, health insurance, 401ks, onboarding, commuter benefits, offer letters, access to HR experts. You get the idea. It's super easy to set up and get started. If you're moving from another provider, they can transfer all your data for you. It's no surprise that 94% of customers are likely to recommend Gusto. And here's the best part. Because you're a listener to this podcast, you get three months totally free. All you have to do is go to gusto.com backslash compliance. That's gusto.com backslash compliance. I'm telling you, you're going to love Gusto. Get started today. The Daily Compliance News for November 22, 2021, the Why Corruption Edition. And we begin with that story from Foreign Policy, a first-time contributor to the Daily Compliance News, which takes a look at how parking tickets, bankers, and bees explain selfish behavior. In the five years from 1997 to 2002, United Nations diplomats were cited for over 150,000 parking tickets, more than 80 a day. What does all this mean? It's what social scientists call a natural experiment. It's natural because it happened without the intervention of research teams. While they don't take the place of the laboratory, they follow the same logic. Uh, This shows that really it's power, and if you think you can get away with it um, and no one's going to pay attention, you do it. But that really speaks to what many compliance professionals already know, so that's why we have compliance programs and internal controls. Next up from Reuters, banks are ordered to promptly flag cybersecurity incidents under a new U.S. rule, and they now have to report uh, major cybersecurity breaches to the federal government within 36 hours of discovery. Activism's Blizzard's CEO um, still is in an imbroglio uh, after it turns out he was uh, aware of rape allegations against employees in the company. Uh, This is Bobby Kotick, uh, but he's told senior managers he would consider leaving the company if he can't quickly fix the culture problems at the company. Uh, Obviously, he's the problem. Uh, and it all starts with tone at the top. And now after this handling of sexual misconduct allegations, um, it's difficult to believe that he would actually uh, make changes within the company that are needed. So it wouldn't be surprising if he does end up leaving the company. And we conclude today's stories with the continuing dilemma of companies returning to the office. Uh, with <clears throat> For much of the pandemic, um, there were return to work dates only to be backtracked and delayed. Now with COVID-19 on the rise again and U.S. authorities a warning of a potential surge in infections this winter, um, companies like Apple are delaying even January returns and num- while some are saying they're sticking with their original targets. Others have abandoned dates altogether and urging managers to find ways to meet with their teams in the coming weeks. 
The shift in thinking is coloring many corporate decisions as executives say uh, that companies like societies might need to live with a virus that shows no signs of disappearing, but we should be able to take uh, the necessary protections to keep ourselves both safe and healthy. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.